till now what we learnt f is equal to b q v sin theta. If the charge is moving with a velocity v and the angle perpendicular to each other that b q v sin theta if theta is equal to 90 degree the charge will move in a circular path. So, what will happen f is equal to b q v sin theta when theta is equal to 90 degree the charge is going to move in a circular path. If it is moving in a circular path what type of force will act that will be a centripetal force. For the centripetal force we know this is due to the magnetic force b q v sin theta and f is equal to m v square by r. When we are equating these two forces for f m is equal to f c for b q v sin theta is equal to m v square by r this sin theta you are taking theta is equal to 90 degree that time only it will move in a circular path for sin theta is equal to 1 for b q v is equal to m v square by r for this v and here get cancelled b q is equal to m v and this b q v if you want you will be writing b q by m. What is your time period? Velocity is equal to distance travelled by time taken. If the charge moves in a circular path, it will be completing one circumference of the circle. For it will be 2 pi r, 2 pi r let t be the time period to complete one circular path one full complete circle for v is equal to 2 pi r by t for the t is equal to 2 pi r by v. For 1 by t is your frequency then it will be v by 2 pi r. This 1 by t you can write as frequency of that complete one full revolution v is equal to b q by m if you are substituting there you will get the frequency of your circular frequency to complete one circular path. What is frequency number of oscillations per second? Okay, now we are going to see cyclotron. This cyclotron is a device to accelerate charges. Before going into the cyclotron, we will see the principle of the cyclotron, how it works. For as you know, F is equal to B q V sin theta. If the charge particle is moving inside a magnetic field and the magnetic field is perpendicular to each other, then what will happen? F is equal to B q V and theta is equal to 90 degree. When the magnetic field is perpendicular to the velocity of the charge, then F is equal to B q V as we have seen already. For F, then the particle will move in a circular path. If it is moving in a circular path, M V square by R is equal to B q V. For what is R? R is equal to M V upon B q. And what is time period? The time period t is equal to as velocity is equal to distance by time, distance is 2 pi r and here we, we will write t and what is t? t is equal to 2 pi r upon v. Here we have r is equal to m v upon b q for t is equal to 2 pi into m v upon b q to v. This v and v get cancelled for here you are getting 2 is equal to 2 pi m upon b q. For what is frequency? 1 by t is your frequency for is equal to 2 pi 
m upon b q. For what is f? f is 2 pi m upon b q. What is m? m is the mass of the charge accelerated and b is the magnetic field in which it is kept and q is the charge. For it depends upon directly proportional to mass of the particle and indirectly proportional to the magnetic field and the charge. So, it does not depend upon the velocity of the charge. It is the frequency of the charge particle kept inside the magnetic field moving with the velocity v does not depend upon the speed of the charge for t is equal to 2 pi upon b q. This principle is used in cyclotron. The cyclotron, what is cyclotron? Cyclotron is an accelerator to accelerate the charges. What type of charge we are going to take now? We are going to take a proton. A pro as you know, the mass of the proton is greater than the mass of the electron. For what we are going to use this principle to accelerate a proton. Why we have to accelerate a proton or why we have to accelerate the charge particle? So, we need some nuclear experiments to be done. For that, we need accelerated charge particles to hit the target. For that reason, we are going to construct a charge accelerator. So, we will divide this cyclotron. First, we will see the principle construction and working. Okay, first I will explain the principle and construction and then how it works. For what principle it works? When a charged particle is kept inside a magnetic field, we are going to keep this magnetic field, this cyclotron inside a magnetic field. Let us represent the magnetic field with the dotted lines here perpendicular to the plane of the boat, outside it is going. This is your magnetic field. For the magnetic field is at 90 degree with your cyclotron. The cyclotron consists of two D's, D1 and D2. For what principle it works? If a charged particle is kept inside a magnetic field, F is equal to B Q V sin theta. If the charge particle and the magnet charge particle move with the velocity V, the velocity and your magnetic field are perpendicular to each other, then what will happen? F is equal to B Q V as we have seen already. For we derive the formula T is equal to 2 pi m by B Q. That means, the frequency is not depending upon the speed of the charged particle. This principle is used in your cyclotron. That is the principle of the cyclotron and now we are going to see the construction. Let S be the source kept inside two hollow metallic D's. D1 and D2. D1 and D2 are hollow metallic D's kept in the form of the letter D like this it is kept and inside you are keeping a source that produces charged particle like positive charges 
are produced from the source S and these two Ds are connected to an oscillator. The oscillator will produce alternative current when this is positive and that time it will be negative and after some time this will become positive the other D1 will become negative. For that reason to change the polarity we are using an oscillator. Now what is happening here we are keeping the charged particle here the source is at the center when this is a positive charge this D2 is negative and this will be positive. If this is positive and here it is negative the charge particle will be attracted to the D, D2 and it will move in a circular path. As you know this F B Q V is equal to M V square by R that means F M is equal to F C. What is F M? F M is a magnetic force and F C is the centripetal force. For the charge particle is at the center now it started moving in a circular path one half circle it will move and then it will come to the gap here. If it is coming to the gap what is happening? The oscillator will change the polarity, if it is changing the polarity this is becoming negative and this D2 is becoming now positive now. When it move with a high velocity and then it moves in a circle of larger radi radius. For again it come to the D, D2 the polarity reverses. If the polarity reversed at this point then again the particle will move in the D, D2. Like that continuously the charged particle is moving in a spiral path with more radius whenever it come to the gap it gain more velocity and with more radius it is moving and finally it is allowed to hit the target. For the full thing is kept inside the chamber so that the collision of air and other particles will not be there with the charged particle inside. For let me explain once again we have seen principle construction and working also we saw what is resonance condition. For this frequency T is equal to 2 pi m by B q 1 by T is frequency for it is B q by 2 pi m is called cyclotron frequency. Okay. Now what are all the drawbacks of this cyclotron? If the charge particle is moving from here it reaches the point at this gap if, if it is reaching the next D1 should change the polarity then only it will be attracted towards the next D. Then normally what happens the charge particle is moving with a very high velocity at that high velocity the mass increases. In your formula what you saw in frequency 1 by T is equal to B Q by 2 pi m. When the charge particle is moving with a very high velocity what will happen the mass will increase according to Einstein special theory of relativity. If this happens if mass increases and the frequency will decrease mass will increase and frequency will decrease. If this is decreasing mass increase and frequency will decrease. If frequency is decreasing then the particle will not come to the gap at the proper time. Before that the polarity will be reversed and it will not be going to the next D. For then the particle will not be moved with a very high velocity, it will not be able, it will not be gaining a very high velocity and then your purpose is not served. For this is the main drawback of your cyclotron. When this frequency matches, frequency matches these two frequency nu c is equal to nu m. 
the frequency of the oscillator is matching with the frequency of your charged particle, then only the cyclotron will work. That condition we call that as resonance condition. The frequency should match, then only all the part, this particle, the charged particle move in a circular path and it will reach the next D in proper time. For that frequency, we call that as resonant frequency. And what are all the uses and limitations of cyclotron? First use what we saw, the charged particle is accelerated with a very high velocity for you are getting an accelerated charged particle to hit the target for any nuclear reaction. If the charged particle is bombarding the atom with a very high velocity, you can implant some ion into the atom, you can change the atomic structure for that is used in medicinal field. For isotopes, or you can make isotopes that will be used in the medicinal field or some other purposes. For these are all the uses of your cyclotron. Next, disadvantage. What are all the disadvantages? First disadvantage, as I told you, the frequency should match. If the charged particle is moving with a very high speed, what will happen? The mass will increase and the frequency will decrease. If the frequency is decreasing, it will not be able to come to the gap in the proper time. So that the oscillator will reverse the polarity, it goes into the next D. For the resonance condition will not be achieved at a higher velocity, for that you have to make some changes in the cyclotron. That is the main disadvantage. And as you know, we have kept a positive charge and depends upon the positive charge, this D1 and D2 will be in positive and negative. For if you are used keeping a neutron here, you will not be able to accelerate neutron here. And one more thing, 